All right, what's going on guys? So today we have kind of a special uh, video. Um, as you can see, we have a flash technology system here. Uh, this is actually a brand new power supply. This is the uh, PC301, uh, technically an FTB301. Um, I got this, they claim it was brand new, never been used, and I can justify that because there's the original box that came in right up there. Let me open it up. Here's the insides. So this is a 301-5A, so that means it has extended alarms. There's the wiring schematic. See all everything. Well, there's the product or the placement of the internals, and then there's the schematic right there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly go over it. Only got a few minutes to do this video. So here is the fuse block. You put your input power in here. It's already got a fuse already in it. That's your interlock relay. There's your mode selector relay. Here's the transformer, burst choke. Uh, coupling transformer, I believe that's another coupling transformer of some sort. Ooh, that's loose. Might need to check and see why that's loose. I don't know if that's supposed to be loose or not. Um, there's a current sense for alarming. Uh, and that's it right there. Uh, the capacitor bank is right up in there. Most of them are, I think there's three 70 microfarads and maybe a one microfarad for night mode, I can't remember. Uh, 301-5A, there's the alarm outputs. Um, inner slave connect, photo cell, mood selector switch, uh, high voltage rectifier board, and then the timing and trigger board. It's the same style uh, layout as the power supply for the um, FH, or no, my bad, the FTB204. Uh, the split enclosure for the high intensity. It's the same layout. The only thing different is more capacitors, and that's it really. Um, but this is brand new. I can you can tell it's brand new. Never been used. Never been mounted. Um, there are signs right here of being screwed, but don't all well, screwed into something. But it was bolted to a sheet of uh, plywood that's up there somewhere. Um, that was during the packaging. Uh, actually, here is the owner's manual right here, or the install it, the equipment reference manual. It's got everything. It still has the warranty activation with it. Here's the schematic, which is a gigantic sheet of paper. So that came with it, <clears throat> and it also came with a photo cell too. So I'm gonna have to wire it up and use the photo cell with it. So let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. This thing sounds mean when it is running. I mean, it sounds evil. It sounds like it will hurt you. It's got two interlocks, just like the 205, so we'll pull one out, and here goes the other one. There it is. So that's day mode, and it's hooked up to an FH-308. So we'll flip it into night mode, and it takes a few minutes for it to actually switch over, but it does switch over eventually, so. We'll watch the LEDs. And there it goes. And flip it back in. So day mode, it takes a few minutes for it to switch back to. Now, I remember reading in the man uh, manual, and they said that the purple wire on the FH-308 is grounded out, but the purple wire on the FTB-20, or the FP ah, FTB-301 is used as an interlock. So, I don't know anything about that. I really didn't pay any much attention to it, considering I don't really have to worry about it being an interlock. But, um, so yeah, that's new. I gotta get a new resistor too, because that resistor right there is broken. But oh yeah, there's resistors there, and then there's one over here. I should be switching here momentarily. Actually, we'll watch the relay. Should be. There it goes right there. 
So there you go. Actually, I'll show you what the resist. Well, I better not. I don't want to mess it up any worse than what it already is. I got to time it just right, so as soon as it flashes, I got to turn it off. Just like that. And now the resistor is not working. First time I did it, I didn't have the flash head hook, uh, hooked up, so it was completely charged. And as soon as I just uh, pushed the interlocks in, it uh, arced over right there. Wasn't major, um, but I do need to replace that here soon. But uh, anyway, so there you guys go. A very, very quick look into an FTB 301. Not much more. Actually, I honestly prefer the system more than like a uh, 324 or a 312 back there. Just because it's much more open. Like, you pop this screw out right here, and this screw out right there, and this whole system, this whole assembly can be removed. It's so open. I mean, it's a lot bigger than, you know, a... Uh, there, actually. That's what I gotta watch out for. Yeah. So let me unplug that before I do anything else, because I don't want to do that again. So that's what happens when you get a bad resistor. All right. So now it's unplugged. Yeah, I gotta replace that resistor probably within the next couple of days or so, because the last thing I need to do is have something arcing like that. There you guys go. Look at an FTB 301 and a FH308 again. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the next video I'll probably be doing is actually I have a new flash head or a flash system. It's a 324 and a FH324. So that's gonna be my next system I go over. And then I have this. This is a Dialyte uh, RTO obstruction light, uh, steady burn. Actually, I could probably plug it in right now. Made a little floor lamp out of it. It's pretty bright. There it is. So I'll probably do a video over that one next, which it's not much to it. I can go over how to make this kind of lamp design, I guess, or something like that. But uh, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll answer, answer them to the best of my ability. Or I'll even go through the logbook and all that other stuff, or logbook uh, manuals, and I'll get all the information you need. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.